In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make self-drawing lines using the trim path function. My name is Chris. I'm a freelance designer, photographer, video maker. Uh, the reason I talk so funny is because I'm from the Netherlands. You know, the country that loves flowers and windmills. Let's jump into After Effects. Let's start by making a new composition. We're going to make this a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. We make it five seconds long and the background we make this white. Press OK and then press OK again. OK. Here's my uh, composition and I want to make, in this example, I'm going to use the star tool. It's underneath the rectangle tool. And I like to put on my title and action save. And from the middle, I start drawing by dragging out. If I press the down arrow, I get less points. If I press the up arrow, I get more points. If I hold the control, then my points get less sharp. And if I hold shift also, it stays in the center. I'm gonna release my mouse. And as you can see, the star is now drawn on our canvas. Uh, if we want to make the line of the star bigger, we can do it up here. We can change this number. Let's uh, put it on 10. And now we want to add the draw function, which is called trim parts. If we open up the shape layer and we click this add arrow, we can select the property trim parts. Okay, let's twirl this open and let's put some keyframes on this. We go to second one and we put uh, the end property. See, if we drag this, we can see the line is, being, is drawn on the canvas. So let's put this on zero and click this stopwatch to add a keyframe. And let's put our marker on three seconds. And if we select the end percentage and put it on at 100, uh, After Effects automatically puts a keyframe over here, or we can press the keyframe button. So let's see the result. And After Effects now takes two seconds to draw the line on the canvas. Okay, so that's our basics. But what can we do else? Well, for instance, we can also animate uh, the start property. So let's put our marker at one second and five frames. And we put a keyframe over there also. And let's go to three seconds and five frames. And we drag the percentage to 100% and After Effects makes a keyframe. And this is the result. Okay, so that quite, that's quite nice. Okay, what can we do with this? Uh, let's say, um, we're going to rename this layer. So we press enter while it's selected and we name this green star. Okay, uh, let's duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl D and we want to make this layer, um, we're going to name this blue star. Blue star. Okay. Uh, we're going to open the contents, open the polystar, and uh, we want to make it blue, of course. So in here, we're going to click this green layer, and we're going to make this blue. That's nice blue. Okay, so now we have a blue star, and that's on top of the green star. Um, what we want to do is we want to make this 20 pixels. And uh, while we're here, um, let's make this layer a uh, green. So it's really clear that this is the blue one. So now it's a green and a blue one, even to make it clear. So let's say we go to this stroke and we want to make our caps, that this is our, these are our caps. We want to make them round, round caps. So that looks a bit better. And what we want to do is um, 
we want to reverse this layer. So this is the way um, the, the track path is going. So let's say we press this one and we press zero on the keypad. Okay, that starts to look nice. Okay, um, let's say we make another green layer. So we duplicate this one. Let's say we call this layer dashed layer. So we twirl open the polystar all the way. Uh, so we twirl this open, polystar, stroke, and then we put on the dashes. So we press plus. And instead of 10, we are going to use 25. And what we also want to do is we don't want this layer to, um, to uh, fade out. We just want it to be drawn on. So we're going to delete this start end keyframe. And let's see what happens now. So now it gets drawn on. And I think it would be nice if we also make these dashed layer, the, this dashed layer. Um, we give them round caps. So we twirl this open, and instead of butt cap, we do round cap. See, that looks a lot better. And instead of uh, the stroke width of 10, we make this 5. We can also do this up here, but uh, we can also do it in here. So let's see what happens now. Okay, and let's say we also want the blue line to stay. So we're gonna duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D also. And we're gonna twirl this open and we put it underneath the, uh, the, the main layer and the main blue layer. We're gonna twirl open the polystar, twirl open the stroke and we say we don't want this to be um, 10, the width of 10. So let's see what happens. And of course, if we select a layer and press U, all the keyframes will come up. We have to delete this last keyframe also. Okay. And because it's on top of the green layer now, let's put the blue layers underneath the green layers. Let's see what happens. So as you can see, you can do a lot with these trim parts and uh, there's a lot more options, but these are the basics and uh, just fiddle around and see what you can do and uh, hope I learned you something today. While you're here, uh, why not subscribe to my channel? I will be showing a lot more in After Effects and I hope to see you in another video. Thank you for watching.